Hi, this is Father Jonathan Meyer, and happy Feast of Christ the King. It is the last weekend in Ordinary Time, and we are on one of the most important biblical passages in the entire Bible. Matthew chapter 25, verse 31 through 46. And I am not joking when I say that this is one of the most biblical, most important biblical passages in the entire Bible, because it really is true. So let's listen to what Jesus says. Jesus said to his disciples, the Son of Man... Well, when he comes in glory, and all the angels with him, he'll sit on his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him. And he'll separate them, one from the other, as a shepherd separates sheep from goats. He'll place the sheep on his right, and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. And the righteous will answer and say to him, Lord, when did we see you? Hungry, and feed you, and thirsty, and give you drink. When did we see you, a stranger, and welcome you, and naked, and clothe you? When did we see you, ill, or in prison, and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whoever you, whatever you did to one of the least of my brothers, you did it to me. And he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you were cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devils and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was stra a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not, and gave me no clothing. Ill and in prison, you did not care for me. Then, say to the, then, then they will answer and say, Lord, when do we see you hungry and thirsty, or stranger, or naked, or ill, or in prison, and not minister to your needs? He will answer them and say, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for these least ones, you did not do for me. And they will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now, this, is good. this is really good news. Why is it good news? Because those who do the works of God get to go to heaven. Those who do the works of God will inherit eternal life. Why is it good news? Because those who do the works of God actually do them not for someone, but for God himself. When we do the works of God, we do them for God himself. And we are so blessed. We're so blessed. My dear brothers and sisters, when was the last time you gave someone food? When was the last time you gave someone drink? When was the last time you cared for someone who was sick? When was the last time you helped someone who was grieving and mourning? When you did that, you did that for Jesus. You did it to Jesus. Mother Teresa used to take the hands of the children in Calcutta and she would pull out the fingers and she, she would say, you did it to me. The gospel in five words, you did it to me. When we choose to serve another, we do it to God himself, the second person of the Most Holy Trinity. This is the gospel, and we inherit eternal life. But also when we choose not to do it, we choose not to do it to God. And thus we can't say that we love God and we're friends of God if we choose to ignore him. You did it to me. Let's pray for the grace to be saints. Let's pray for the grace to do acts of charity and deeds in the name of Christ. Some questions. What's the basic message or story? If you know someone who is hungry, thirsty, a stranger, naked, ill, or in prison, what are you called to do? Can you think of a situation of each of the corporate works of mercy that you have responded to? How have you responded to each of the corporate works of mercy? All of them, including the people in prison. What would a look like, world look like if everyone responded to the corporal works of mercy? Where is our Lord found in the world? Is it hard to find Jesus in our world? Is it hard to find Jesus in our world? How many times have we walked past or ignored or judged Jesus in the poor? And what happens to those who do not do acts and kinds and deeds of mercy? What happens to them? Thank you for watching Alive.
please tune in next week when we continue with our Advent edition for Alive. We are excited that you chose to be with us. Please subscribe, like, and check out these other videos. God bless. Be a saint.